Here's the internals. Oh. Well, that might be why. She's out of balance. But yeah, you can see how this particular fin is lower than the others, making her weaver wobble. All right, let's see if we can get this kind of back to some sense of normalcy. Yeah, that's better. Question is, how did that get how did that get bent? Is it literally that is it hitting inside here? Hmm. Maybe it was bent up enough that it was making contact. I don't see any place where it would make contact in there. It's kind of an interesting design. They uh you have an inner sleeve, an outer sleeve, and then a cap as well. So this rotates independent of this piece. Huh. So three pieces all held together by one screw. Gotta love the the ingenuity there. Now, originally this thing broke on me three years ago, and I had to replace and reinforce some of the uh the structure inside of here. So originally these supports broke off. You can see where there's some Gorilla Glue holding them back on, but I wasn't sure if the Gorilla Glue was going to hold. Uh, so on these major ones, I uh, drilled from the back side and reinforced it with a screw uh, going into the bottom most portion of this, and then that screw went into the top most portion of that threaded uh, connection. So that's worked pretty well so far. I don't like the way this is allowed to rock back and forth. It looks like this, because of the the fan having an uneven blade, the weeble wobble, uh, has caused these particular supports to expand outwards, uh, away, bend away from supporting this. So I think I'm going to take a zip tie and run it around the perimeter and see if I can't tighten those back up, and that should help eliminate some of this play that we're seeing here. So let's do that real quick. And uh, we're underneath this ledge, so this shouldn't be able to pop up and get into the fan. Let's try it out one last time. Yeah, nice and quiet. Perfect. And our weeble wobble is pretty much taken care of now. So yeah, just four screws hold this thing in on the bottom. Like I said, these are ones that I added to reinforce the mount after it broke the first time. But uh, no reason to throw it out and buy a new one, right? Okay, once again. Oh yeah, great. And I'm looking here at the clock on the camera. This took eight minutes, and I'm not sure how much this thing costs. Probably like 20 bucks or something. But if you got yourself a sleep easy, and she's rattling and making noise on you, probably good chance it's a it's a wonky fan. Just bend it back into shape. Uh, if your mounts break, just glue them back on and drill in from the back side and put a put a screw in to help reinforce it and it'll last another two three years i hope you found this uh helpful you know give me a thumbs up if you like it and uh yeah thanks for watching